the Classy News Team. I'm Josh. I'm Will. I'm Zoe. I'm Abigail. And I'm Molly. We have worked incredibly hard on this project. We have learned so much. And we can't wait to share with you. Hold on to your hats. Let's go. Have you ever wondered what is a laser? Well, you can stop wondering, because we're going to tell you. L is for light. Light gives off brightness. A is for amplification, which increases the strength or of current voltage or power. S is for stimulated, the levels of physiological or the nerve activity. E is for emission. Emission gives energy to electromagnetic radiation. R is for radiation, the emission of energy of electromagnetic waves. Do you know who created the first laser? Uh, no. no. Oh, it doesn't look like you do. The person who created the first laser was Ted Maven. His real name was Theodore Maven. He worked with his father, and his father was an invent inventor and engineer. Now, Ted really loved to invent. You might think he went straight to inventing, but really he went to the Navy. Then he got out and he created what is known as today the laser. Now, it wasn't as powerful as long strength, but it was. But people build off it, and that's how we have the powerful laser of today. Interesting. Cool. That's awesome. Do you guys know lasers and security systems? Um, uh, not so much. much. Not really. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you about them. So there are three things in a laser. One, a laser. Two, a detector. And three is sensing electronics. So if someone's trespassing or not, or not wanting where you're going, they hit, they go past a laser mark on the on the wall near the bottom. So the laser sends goes to the detector. A detector sends a message with the laser to the sensing electronics. And when the sensing electronics hit get that message, they send out a warning to the people around them to know what's going on. Cool. Now, now in the movies you see those lines yeah. on the bottom. Well, how they activate is one is with the laser, and the other side is just a concave mirror. And okay. that's how it goes and flex. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, call me crazy, but have you guys ever compared a laser to a race car? Oh, what? Yeah. Are, are you crazy? crazy? Seriously? Well, listen to this. Imagine a racetrack jam filled with cars all going at different speeds. They travel in a bunch until they come to a curve. Once they come to a curve, they are given more room, so they tend to spread out more. The cars on the outer side tend to go slower, because they're either driving now on grass or dirt instead of pavement. So the so that's kind of how a regular light works, like the light up here. It all spreads out to give enough light to cover up this entire room. But a laser is a concentrated beam of light. And a laser travels in one at the same exact speed all in one bunch. So now imagine that race car with race track with all the cars lined up in order, going exactly the same speed. That's kind of how a laser light works. Oh, oh yeah, now okay. okay. I see. Yeah, now I see that. Okay. Did you guys know that there was lasers in the library? Um, uh, like a um, bar barcode code? scanner. Yeah. yeah. Barcode codes. scanners read those linear codes on the back of books. Have you seen those little lines? Yeah. Yeah. Aren't they like black and yeah. white? Lines? Yeah. yeah. That's what the barcode scanner reads. Okay. A barcode scanner picks up alternating black and white elements. These elements have a part important job, which follows a specific algorithm. This algorithm is followed by a text string, which sends messages to the computer. Then the computer sends a, this information about the book. So if like if it's overdue or you need to renew it, the computer has all that information. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. All of these hard hidden facts are making me really thirsty. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's get some. This water's good and all, but do you know what'd be good? Milk. milk. You know what we can get some milk out of the cafeteria? Oh yeah, yeah. let's go. Oh, we're here. Did you know that there are lasers in a lunch room? What? 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 Not yeah. in the food, not in the food. Oh. So, when you see my lunch cart here? Yeah. yeah. Do you see these little black and white things? The yeah. Yeah. Like the like the the it's the same thing that Abby was talking about, but it has to do with the money.
so much better than water. I know. Yeah. Right? yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Do you guys have printers or like computers at your house? Yeah, I yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. Did you know that there are lasers in printers? Uh, no. No. How could that be? Okay. So say on the internet, you go on the internet and there's a picture of Zoe's hat. Say you want to print that out because you just want to put it on your wall in your room or something. You put it onto the printer. The printer gives an image of it. It goes onto the paper. Now there's this thing called the cylindrical drum. Now that's below the paper, and it and if there wasn't there, then you couldn't print out the picture. Is the signature drum whatever it's called? Is it like a thingy? No, drum? If or you, if, a drum. If you hit it, it would break, and then your printer would be break broken. And then it's not like an eardrum because if you scream really loud or anything, it won't just like shatter into a million pieces. But the laser puts the image onto the paper. So it projects the image. So yeah. That's cool. That's an idea. Isn't there like something called a toner? A toner. Oh. A toner is what the, it once the laser puts the image on, the toner goes on and it sticks to there. It's like ink almost. So it creates the image so then your hand is very colorful. Wait, like in music? No. Oh. That's interesting. Now I know a lot of things about lasers. Yeah. So do I. Have you guys ever seen materials in used in lasers? Yeah. Um, I think so. Like, what's that you're holding right there? This is a heat sensor. It detects degrees on objects and humans. Do you want to try it on me? Yeah, sure. Okay. 83.7 degrees. 0. 0.8, 0. 0.9, 84.0. Would you just zip it? Just make up your mind. <laughs> okay, 84.0. Okay. okay, thank you. So it detects humans and objects. Yes. This also detects degrees. But on objects, because it doesn't, because this only goes through energy on objects, not humans. Like, I'll show you. Will? I'll show you. See, there's a problem. See, he's an error. With the laser shining, but nothing's happening, that's good. Yeah. What's that? This is called a leveler. A leveler. It measures, it measures things. Like, it, it uses, it, people use this to measure things to build our school. So... They, they could that? level it to build. It's a shortcut to rulings. Like no. what? No. Can you maybe, can you maybe explain that a little bit better? So this over here levels out the walls. Oh. Could you try it? Maybe. Do I try it? Um, maybe on the desk. Here, I'll hold this. Okay. Oh yeah, that. And it's getting on people. It levels out. But it cuts through because because of the edges. So it's going down. It's a really it's a really even line. So you build it. So building these bricks, you would need a leveler. So then it like our building wouldn't be like lopsided or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Did you guys know that lasers can reflect off objects? Um. um yeah. Aren't yeah. they like so concentrated that they do that? Yeah. Yes. So like a CD. Lasers are also used in CDs. So when I use this CD, it'll reflect off, off to the this floor paper? Oh, and onto the paper. Oh, working on the paper. Okay, that's cool. Does it only work on CDs? It can also work on other objects. Mm. A laser is a concentrated beam of light. Okay. So it travels in one straight line. So when it hits an object, it bounces up. Can you tell us what happens if you maybe put it like through a water bottle or something? So see how it's all spread out? A laser normally travels in a straight line and ends up straight. But when it hits an object like water, it'll spread out because the laser itself only travels in a straight line. Oh. It's a concentrated beam of light. Okay. Well, I think, I think we're done. 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 Yeah, done, I think right? we're done too. Okay. But Whoa, wait, wait, are we forgetting, we're forgetting something? Forgetting something. Oh, oh no, we forgetting what about me? I yes. remember now, it's yes. you. Okay. So, listen, since you've learned so much about lasers, how would you like to see lasers live at this year's Quasi theme park? I would love to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They will they will be having a laser show and these lasers could be up to four feet in length. What? That's so tall. So that's so really? that's almost as tall thing. as me. So not only can lasers be used for in media centers, in lunch rooms, in printers, or in security systems, but they could also be used for entertainment. That's cool. Yeah. 
Well, no, I think this is the real ending. Yep. Yes. Well, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye.